First you will want to select a beat from your library. This beat can be any genre you want, it's up to you. Now let me show you how to edit this beat into a loop. We will be using Reaper for this tutorial. You will notice a track is already set. There are two settings you should turn off while editing files. First is grid lines and end snapping. This will allow more precision with editing. Drop your file into the first track and preview. Listen for the break and take note at where it ends. Once you find the beginning of the loop, set a marker with a keyboard letter M. Then listen for the ending portion of the loop. Your end should come right after the snare and start at the lead edge of the kick. Zoom into the file and get as close to the edge as possible. Preview a few times to ensure it's clean. Set another marker. Move your cursor to the middle of the two markers and double click. This will set a region in your selection automatically. Notice the red line right above the file. Right click that area and select copy loop of selected area of items. Zoom out of your file and go to a blank part at the end. Right click and select paste. This will paste your loop and allow you to extend it out as far as you want time wise. Once the file is extended you will notice a notch cut out at the bottom of where the loop will start again. Preview your file at this section to ensure the file loops clean. Remove the original file and move the loop over to the starting position of the track. Then you can drag the loop out to the desired time length. Qbert Scratch University has a size limit for audio files so keep your file at 6 minutes or under. Even though the loop sounds good, we want to clean it up a little bit. I use Ozone 4 for mastering and other things. You can experiment with VST and regular plugins with Reaper. Once done, render your file out in MP3 format 320 kilobits per second. Peace QSU. Have fun with your loops and be creative with your descriptions. See you fruit cakes on the flip side.